as long as I can remember. I would lock myself away in the, the room, in my bedroom, and just draw and listen to music. And I guess I was being kind of reclusive, but it helped me <laughs> develop my, my skills somewhat, but I still have a lot to learn. I remember I used to draw girl, little girls all the time, and then their age increased as I, my age increased. And finally I learned how to draw boys properly instead of just drawing girls without eyelashes. I just really like to draw the faces especially because I mean you can get so much emotion I mean, just, just the tilt of a brow or you know the way the eye looks I hope to um, work somewhere, of course, with animation since I am a 3D animation major, but um, I really want to work with character design and character animation and modeling, I think would be my, the things I'd like to do most after MCAT. MCAT is learning Maya. Um, it's a really cool program. My teacher told her whole class um, when he first introduced it to us and said, now I'm going to show you everything you don't know about Maya, which is everything. So it's been, it's been quite a challenge to learn Maya here at Rome Castle. I don't have enough time to release to my own artwork now, but I do sketches here and there. I, I sketch a lot in my supposed notebook where I'm supposed to take notes, but I mostly just scribble people and random stuff. So my friends think it's funny because I I write down the class I'm in and the date and everything so neatly, and then after that it's just doodles and stuff. I'm glad I came. I just <laughs> sometimes schoolwork can be a little overwhelming and but it's definitely worth it. <laughs>